I'm Mark Fulton with the Unleash team. Welcome to this short video where we'll take a look at client versus server side SDKs in Unleash. This will provide perspective into the available SDK options so that we can understand our choices when getting applications ready for feature flags through Unleash. We're going to take a look at the differences between client and server side SDKs, how each of them interact with the differing Unleash API, understand the SDKs available for use and where to find them, ending with a short note on creating API tokens for the application SDKs. We start with taking a look at the general anatomy of Unleash, with how the Unleash instance communicates with our applications. The first note is that all feature toggles are evaluated locally by the respective SDK's client side, making them extremely fast performance-wise, as well as secure because no data is actually transmitted through back to Unleash. On the application side, you can see that we distinguish between server-side and client-side SDKs. Server-side SDKs will be used for feature toggles evaluated at the application's backend, and client-side toggles are evaluated at the application front end when the clients communicate to the app server for the user session. The SDKs will periodically sync with the Unleash instance to collect the latest feature toggle configuration. This is accomplished through a set of APIs. We see that the Unleash client API is leveraged for server side or backend SDKs with the Unleash front-end API being used for client SDKs. To note, there's also an admin API which is not leveraged by application SDKs. The Unleash proxy and or edge can be deployed to scale the Unleash solution to handle larger rates of client requests without causing issues for the Unleash API. Here, the application's client side SDK will communicate with the proxy via front-end API here, and the proxy in turn will use the client API to communicate with the Unleash instance. Edge is a next-gen proxy that also adds support for server-side SDKs amongst other features. Moving forward, let's take a look at what SDKs are available. We offer officially supported SDKs as well as some great community-based offerings. In our docs, you'll see the SDKs broken down by server and client-side categories and the list of supported development languages. Specifically for server-side SDKs, take note of the following compatibility table which shows their respective supported features. If you feel there is a feature missing, please reach out to us via Slack with your use case, where we'll be happy to help. In the tree here, each document will provide guidance and code samples for integrating your application with Unleash feature toggles. Finally, let's discuss API tokens that will be used to authenticate applications to the Unleash API. These are set up in our Unleash instance, so let's go there now. We'll access the menu under Configure, API Access, and create a new one to explore our options. Recall that client tokens are used for server-side SDKs. Server-side SDKs need a token with client API privileges, which allows them to fetch feature toggle configurations and post usage metrics, as well as access multiple Unleash environments, if we want them to. Front-end tokens are used with client-side SDKs through the Unleash front-end API. They grant the user permission to do things like read the enabled toggle for a given context, register applications with the Unleash server, and send usage metrics. 
Tokens can also be scoped to specific projects and or environments. Once a token is generated through this wizard in the UI or through the admin API, the token will be returned in this format with the project and environment delineated with the colon. If the token provides access to multiple projects in, in a single environment, you'll see square brackets here. And for all projects or environments, an asterisk. That's everything. Now you should have all you need to get started connecting your applications to benefit from Unleash's powerful feature toggle functionality. Thanks for watching.